Hi crafty friends. Welcome to the Hot Mess Express at Raincross Farms Makery. I know I'm a little bit late. I apologize. I just I'm trying to get organized. I was in a Zoom meeting that went overtime, which is not your problem. So I apologize for being a couple minutes late, but we are glad you are here. My name's Robin, behind the camera, behind the computers, my husband Bill, you'll hear his voice once in a while. Maybe. So when you get here, hop on, say hello in the comments. If you're new, let us know where you're watching from. And we are so thrilled to be hosting this uh, segment of uh, Craft Around the Clock. And we're going to have a good time. So let me get my bot up and going. Let me catch my breath. And... Boop -ba -doop -ba -doo. What did I do with it? You know what? I don't, I don't know what I did with it. That one, did I change that one? Singing? I'm just talking to myself. Oh. Talking to myself. Oh, like Join my groove, okay. I think, I think that's right. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip my bot tonight. I'm going to do it by hand. So let's get to go and welcome everybody. Say hi so I know who's here with us. And let me get rid of some things. We, hi, Maude. Hello. I've got my tickets ready because we are hoping to have at least 25 viewers at one time on our live tonight. If we do, we'll have a giveaway at the end for some happy mail. And so let me tell you how to get entered into the happy mail drawing is I have my little chicken timer here and it's set for a random amount of minutes, somewhere around five ish. And when that timer goes off, Bill is going to check for the last comment that shows up on his screen and that person gets entered into our drawing for the end if we get 25 viewers. So it's the last name that had not been drawn previously. Yes, that had not been drawn that has not been getting a ticket previously. We try to just keep it one one entry per person. So, awesome. So right now it would be mod. Okay. That's but all. but the timer isn't going off yet. So yeah, so get to commenting. I think people are just hopping on because we got on late. We probably got shared into Craft Around the Clock a little bit late, which is totally my fault. But they, oh, there we go. <laughs> you got to be kidding, really? Yep. All right, Mod, you're in. Okay, Mod. Tag Mod's it. Okay, so Mod is our first entry. I'm going to reset the timer. And let me show you what our project is. This is what inspired this project. I saw this. I saw somebody craft with one of these, and then I went on Etsy and found one. This is a decorative plate, and it's got all these little holes in it. It is called the Dress Me Up Plate, Southern, home, Southern Living at Home. It's a really cute idea. And so what you do is you feed a ribbon through all of these little holes and you can change it up for whatever, whatever decor, whatever season it is. And then you can either leave it blank or you can, you can lay it down on a, on a table. You can hang it on a wall. We're going to chalk in the middle of it, but so I'm just going to put this together really, really quick to show you what it looks like. But I realize you probably can't get one of these. I think there's still some out on eBay, but they're not, they're, they're not out there a lot. So I'm gonna show you a different way that you can recreate this same look. So I've got my beautiful peacock ribbon, and I'm just going to feed it in and out, and it's kind of closing in on itself. So I'll fix that. And you need about, I'm thinking it's like a yard and a half of, of the ribbon. Does it have to be a certain width? No. Oh, I mean, it needs to be, it probably needs to be wider than these slots to make it look its best. But, 
So I'm just going to throw this together to give you an idea. And then I'm going to show you a, another way that you can get this same look without having to go on eBay. Okay, so let me get this. Pull this around. Now, it, it, it works best if you have double-sided ribbon because this is wanting to fold over on itself, which is okay. Let me peel off a bunch of this. And so I'm going to feed it through. I'm just going to take a couple minutes to do this. So this is the look I'm going for. Who is out there? Seems kind of quiet tonight. Where is everybody? Say hello. I'm seeing seven sets of eyeballs that I'm not getting, not getting a lot of comments. So please don't leave me hanging out here. Somebody comment. So it's, you kind of get the idea of this plate. So, oh, it's no still mod, no new comments. <laughs> yes, I love this ribbon too. This is Costco. You know what, I'm going to redo this. So, so far, mod is winning. <laughs> Hop on when you get here. So here I've got I've got that ribbon all fed through, and I'm just going to put this in a bow. And you could do a big bow. You could just do a simple little, simple Good little morning. bow. I'm going to move the camera a little yeah. bit because okay. that's down in the comments section. Okay. I'm going to cut off a bit okay. of your head. I okay. think. Okay. That's all right. My head is highly overrated. Okay, how's the, how is your craft show setup going? Are you able to, to get some rest, Maud? I know you've got a craft show going on this week, tomorrow and Saturday, I think you said. Okay, so here's Here's the idea. I can tie the bow at the bottom. I could have, I could have tied it the other way around with the loops down. Anyway, that's that's the idea of this plate. Again, it's called the Dress Me Up plate from Southern Living at Home. You can maybe find one of these on eBay or Etsy, but don't don't pay an arm and a leg. Let me show you hey, how look, Denise. Hey Denise. Let me show you how we are going to recreate this with something that I commissioned my husband to make. He got on our trusty laser cutter and he made one just out of wood. Now this is ceramic. It's really pretty and, and all that good stuff, but we can make it just about as nice. It's a little bit smaller because of our wood pieces. So it's just a piece of wood, quarter inch, quarter inch wood, and he's, he's cut out all of these things so we are going to recreate this. We're going to do it a little bit different though. So I'm going to, one side I'm going to leave white and one side I'm going to, we're going to Mod Podge with some tissue paper. Did I reset that? I don't think I reset. set up, ready for the crowd. Good, Mod good, good. Why do we sell those? Mod wants to know if we sell those. We, we will. I, I have do whatever to, my wife tells me. I'm gonna that. I'm gonna take a photo of it, and we are going to put it online in our little um, in our little shop. So if you are interested in the cutout, just say so in the comments. My bot is not set up. I was running too late. So if you comment it after the live, I will I'll make sure I get you the link. Okay. Yes, it kind of looks like a like a reel on a. Movie reel. Movie reel. Yeah. Anyway, so one side we're going to leave white. I, I painted this white. It comes with just the natural wood. And we're going to Mod Podge this side. And this is the tissue paper I'm going to use. It's just a really light pink and it's got these cute little gold polka dots. So I'm going to get my Mod Podge, 
This is matte. You can use matte. You can use gloss. It doesn't matter. Okay, mod. I will get to you after the live. Okay. Are we going to call that thing a reel, or what are we going to call it? We're going to call it a ribbon plate. Ribbon plate. We're going to call right. it a ribbon so, plate. Mod, I think you're asking for a link to the ribbon, ribbon plate. plate. Yes. Okay. So I am taking Mod Podge, and I am coating this entire surface. That's the side I wanted. Again, I pre I painted this, and I'm I really only painted it because when you do this process. Um, the background kind of shows through and I'd rather it have a white background to make that pink pop a little bit better. So I'm not putting a, a thick, thick layer, but... So she asked, where do you find your tissue paper? This, I believe, is Hobby Lobby. Yes, this was Hobby Lobby. They have a lot of really cute tissue paper. Um, but I have found cute tissue paper like at Ross and Marshalls and... And what's the other one? TJ Maxx. Sometimes they have really cute things. If you still have a Hallmark store, but you're paying a little bit more. Every once in a while, you see something really cute at Dollar Tree. Also, uh, yeah, Dollar Tree also. So just just kind of keep your eyes out. So you could use a napkin. You, you could use a napkin, but I thought this is kind of big, and I just I saw this tissue paper, and I thought I want to use that. So I'm getting it everywhere and especially the edges now i can't tell where i've been i just keep going over it okay that was our timer that's mod 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 denise denise that would be you Okay, keep that name in because I'm gonna I'm gonna keep painting this. Keep that name in mind. I write it down. Okay. So what we're doing, if you're just if you're just joining us, we I have my timer goes off in a random amount of minutes, and if we get I don't, might, I don't know I don't know if we're gonna get 25. Guys, I need you guys to sprinkle out this video and get your friends watching. We were at 15 at one okay. point. Okay, and. Anyway, if we get 25, we'll have a, a giveaway of some happy mail at the very end. And to get entered, every couple of minutes, my timer goes off. And the last comment that Bill sees on his screen, which might be different than yours, I apologize, um, gets entered into the drawing. And we will only enter you one time. But we want, we're encouraging you to comment. So, okay, so I've got a layer of Mod Podge on this, and I'm going to dry it. I'm not putting the tissue on wet Mod Podge because I can't stand the wrinkles that I usually get. So if you're wondering what we're doing, I found one of these. It's called a Dress Me Up plate. It's a ceramic plate and it's got these little holes in it and you, you put a ribbon in it and you can change it up for the season, for the holiday. So we're, we're making our own because those aren't available anymore except like on eBay or uh, Etsy oh, or, or one of those. Hey Joanne, hello, how are you? So I'm drying my Mod Podge. Oh, I didn't turn on my... So I didn't turn on my oven. I didn't turn on my iron. <laughs> Both of us have been really bad with words. Yeah. Uh, 24 hours. I. That's why I am. That's why I am kind of flustered. We had we had unexpected, very, very welcomed company come and visit us. We were we weren't expecting them to come. So it kind of um, we we wanted to spend as much time with them as we can. And so it kind of threw me off my game and... That's okay, you needed it. Yeah, so... So I'm trying to catch up here. So I've dried this Mod Podge. Let's go a little 
lifting up. And I am going to. There's Patty. I don't think I set my timer again. Hi, Patty. Okay. Catching my breath. I'm kind of waiting till my iron heats up. So I've dried the Mod Podge, painted this with Mod Podge, dried it. I'm going to take my tissue paper. You could do a napkin. You could you can do um, scrapbook paper too. But the method I'm going to do to get it cut out of those little holes, you probably want the thinner the better. So tissue paper is very thin. You just use the top ply of a napkin. So I am going to lay this over here and kind of finger press out any of the you press out any of the wrinkles and now I'm going to get some parchment paper not wax paper parchment paper and cover this up and I've got my iron I'm going to use my little mini press you can just use a household iron on about medium you don't need it super hot but you're just gonna iron this on over that dried Mod Podge. The heat will reactivate the Mod Podge enough to make it adhere to whatever you're pressing onto it, which is this tissue paper. And it comes out nice and smooth. No wrinkles that you need to deal with. And you want to be really careful to get those edges and we do have a lot of edges around those little holes okay i am hoping we get to 25. where is everybody tonight well the important people are the here important people are together. here we're waiting for the unimportant people to come <laughs> okay so that's on. Now I'm going to just pull this up. I'm going to just check it. And it looks like the edges are adhered. Now I, I use the parchment paper because just in case the Mod Podge leaks through or something, I don't want to I don't want to damage my my iron, my plate of my iron. I'm thinking some might have come in a little bit late. And so we want to know what is the plate you're using? Okay, I will tell you. And was that the chicken? That was the chicken. So Joanne Schwartz. Joanne Schwartz. You are entered into our drawing for Happy Mail. Joanne Schwartz. S-C-H-W-I-R-T-Z. Awesome. You are entered into our drawing at the end. And what this is, this is the idea is this thing called it's called a dress me up plate um they're not sold readily anymore you can find them on uh, etsy and ebay and that but the idea is that you run a ribbon through the holes and then you can change up your decor for the seasons for the holidays so what i had my husband do is cut me out one of these made out of wood so it's going to mimic that idea so if you're interested in, we'll be putting these in our shop. Um, so if you're interested in one of these, just comment um, cutout or ribbon plate or something. Ribbon My, plate's the magic word. We're at ribbon plate. My bot is not active tonight because I was running so far behind. So I am uh, taking a sanding block and I'm just going down the edges at a really sharp angle and that's going to get it off around the outside. And I think I think I'm about ready to trash this sanding block it's not doing very good I think it's I think it's run out of grit yes much better so 
So you could do this with sandpaper. You could do this with a nail file. But there. So I've got the, the entire outside cleaned up. Now there's all of these little things in here we need to get that tissue paper out of. So I'm gonna show you a scary but effective method. So cross your fingers, we don't have a fire. I'm going to, I'm just gonna kind of poke my finger through these because we want to give it an edge. We are going to burn this tissue paper out of here. Can you believe it? Okay, so I have where do I have it? I have this and I have a candle. It works better to, to use a candle instead of something you have to keep holding. So let's see if I can get this lit. Come on. That, that is a really hard one to use, but it works well when it works. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I've got my candle lit and I'm just going to touch it up against the edge of that paper and it will burn you know what? I'm gonna do it this way cuz I can't okay. so it will burn and then it will put itself out it's kind of ashy um, but that's okay we'll, we'll get rid of that so I'm just going to light it and it will burn just up to the edge I think the Mod Podge uh, stops it from going any further So if, if you're not brave enough to do this, you can always, you can always just uh, use a craft knife and cut it. So you just want to catch an edge of that tissue paper. We're up to 22. Woohoo! And honestly, the, the Mod Podge stops it from burning further than you want. So there, I've got it. Got a couple little sections that I want to burn just a tad more. That one, get up there, get up there. Okay, so it's kind of ashy, but I'm just going to, I can take a paper towel, I can take a dish rag or something and I'm just going to kind of clean up that that those ashy edges. Mom wants to know would a nail a nail file work? Although she's it would. a nail file but a know. nail file would work. It take a little long. I mean it would definitely work easily around the outside. The inside it's gonna be a little monotonous but it would get done. And again you don't have to do this method. You can do just painting. So we're going to kind of do it both ways. Okay, so I think I've got those all cleared out. So I've got, can you see the, the little gold pokey dots? Okay. Now, on this one, if I were to do this and I wanted to do a chalk transfer on here, I would just put it straight on here because this is a ceramic surface and I can completely wash it off when I'm ready to change it. On this, if I chalk it directly on the surface, I can, but then it's then I'm kind of stuck, kind of scorched there. Um, then I'm kind of stuck with that design. I don't always want to be stuck with that design. I don't know why this didn't go off. Well. So I'm going to set it, whoops, come on. I think I need to get a new chicken timer. You need a new chicken? So what I'm going to do is I have, this is a seven inch circle that will come with this, if you decide to buy this from our shop, it will come with this and you can mount it right there in the middle and you can put your design here and then when Easter's over you can take it off and you can put on your 4th of July or your Mother's Day or, or whatever season you're changing it up to. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to quickly paint this. Oh, come on. Joanne says she's watching from a very cold, snowy Hawthorne, Wisconsin. Woohoo! We were actually up to 70 degrees today. Awesome. It was, it was really chilly this morning. <laughs> Did that okay. go off again? Yep. Okay. All right, that's Joanne. Let's see, I got back up. We already got Joanne on there. We got Joanne. We got Maud. We got Maud. 
We got Robin. We got Joanna. Rita. 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 Rita Quayar. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Quayar. Queller. Okay, you are entered in our end of the night drawing. Hoping we get to, hoping we get to 25 viewers. Well, we've been up to 17. At least what I've seen. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just painting this so white. Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. First time watcher. Thank you. Good. You're glad to see you here. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully you will follow our page. We are... Raincross Farms Makery. We do we do live crafting videos every couple of days. We're a lot of fun. And I do a lot of smart aleck. You do. Comments. Yeah, you are. That's all I'm good for. Okay, I'm going to dry this and then work on the edges. And you said she saw 22 at one time. Okay. That's good. I'm glad. We never know for certain until we're done with our live and then we go on our, our little our little uh, insights tracker and it tells us exactly what how many are how many we had. Debbie Hello, Hello Debbie. Debbie. Welcome. Lots of new people. Okay, and I'm going to just do the edges. I'm not worried about the back because it's not going to be seen. It's going to be mounted up against this board. I just got my fingerprint on there. Paint the edges. And I'm going to dry this just a little bit more. Okay. So I just painted that with chalk paint. And dry. So if you're just joining us, looks like we've got people coming and going. We are making a project based on this idea. This is called a Dress Me Up plate by Southern Living at Home. But they're not available anymore. And the, the idea is that you change out the ribbon when you're ready to change up your decor. Okay, so that was the timer. Well, that, I think that would be Debbie. Hang on. Yep, that was okay, it. Okay, Debbie, you just got entered you into got our in end there. of the live Weekend. drawing. Debbie Treadwell. Okay, reset the timer, back to drawing. There you go, we love it when people comment. Although, you know, if you're busy and you don't you don't have a free hand to comment, that's fine too. But if you get a chance, make sure you comment, say hi. Anyway, so this was the idea, you change out the ribbon every holiday. And so, but those aren't available anymore. You can find them on eBay or Etsy once in a while. So I had my husband make up some, made, just made out of uh, quarter inch wood. And so we are going to kind of mimic that effect. It's not probably not as nice as a surface, but it will be available. Okay, so um, paint's almost dry. <laughs> 22, whoops. Yep. Oh, I'm seeing 22 now. Come on, three more. Nobody leave until we get to 25. Okay, so I've got that dry. Now, freshly painted wood. I'm going to be putting a sticky transfer onto it. So I don't want that sticky transfer to pull up the paint. So I am getting, honestly, okay, it's time to clean out this drawer. Okay, so I'm getting a, I'm using my surface wax. It's just clear paste wax. I sell it in my shop. And I've got a microfiber cloth. And, okay, and I'm just going to apply a little bit of wax on this painted surface. 
That will protect the paint from the sticky transfer. It also kind of fills in some of the grooves and the grain that gets, that gets, hey Juanita, welcome. There's Fran. Hey Fran. The grooves and the, and the, the grain of the wood that gets raised when you paint it, it just kind of fills that in a little bit like spackle. So a little bit of paste wax, and then I'm going to rub the majority of it off. And let me show you the transfer we're going to use. It's a big one, but it, it's, it, it's in six parts, and I've already got it cut apart. It's called um, Spring in Your Step. So this, was, this is what it's named for. Put a little spring in your step. This is actually the one we're going to use. There's also Chick Magnet. There is Hip Hop You Don't Stop, the cute little bunny. And I love my little sprouts. And okay, bloomer, not boomer, bloomer. And oopsie daisy. Oh, let's see, we got Denise. Oh, Beth, you just got put oh, in the drawing, but she's got to go to a, a soccer match tonight. Okay. Well, Beth, Phyllis. That's all right. We put her we'll in. We'll put you in anyway. Okay. So we're going to use this one. Put a little spring in your step. I'm going to get my fuzzing cloth. I'm going to put a little bit of fuzz on the back of this sticky transfer so it doesn't, again, pull up the paint. And so it doesn't stick so tightly to the surface that when I pull it up, it, it uh, stretches the transfer. So these are self-adhesive reusable silk screen transfers. They can be reused, guaranteed by the company, 10 to 12 times, but I happen to know that you can get a lot more uses out of them than that, especially if you take good care and clean them up. Okay, so now there's a big, big chunk of fuzz right there that I don't want. So I'm putting this down, making sure there's no air bubbles and there's no big chunks of paste. And I'm going to use a few different colors. I'm going to, oh, what was I going to do? You know, I seriously believe, we just went up to 31 uh, okay. for, a, for a moment there. I seriously believe it was oh. just because. Um, Did you do something? Um, Juanita sprinkled it. Oh, thank you, Juanita. Because as mm. soon as she did that, all of a sudden the numbers went up. Okay. See, it just takes one person and all of a sudden things okay. happen. This is peach cobbler. So I'm going to put peach cobbler on my squeegee and I'm going to put it in. I'm going to do the words put a little. We're going to use some springy colors here. Put a little and I'm going to use the word in in peach cobbler. Scrape off the excess back in the jar and I'm going to use what did I say I'm gonna use shimmer violet for spring and your step I'm gonna give this a little stir because this is a shimmer it's got um, it's got mica flex in it so those kind of tend to settle a little bit so I like to stir it up right before I use it so one Sim wants to know are the paste shimmer or regular um some of them are shimmer, some of them are regular. The peach cobbler is not shimmer, but this uh, shimmer violet is shimmer. I'm going to use two shimmers and two non-shimmers. So I'm going to spring. And like I said, my bot, I didn't get my bot set up in time. So if you are interested in the uh, supply list of all the supplies that I'm using that I sell in my shop, just comment supplies and I will, you won't get anything automatically, but I will go through later tonight and make sure you get those. Okay, so I've got spring in your step and I don't want this to dry in my screen and I'm kind of taking a while because I have a little bit more to do. So I'm going to do what's called paste and peel. So I'm pasted this, so I'm just going to peel it up. If it dries in my screen, when I lift it, it lifts the paste too, and I don't want that. 
So I just lift it, just the parts that I've chopped, give it just a quick little dry, lay it back down, don't press it down. And then I'm gonna get this section here. Okay, now, so I next, I just have these leaves and flowers. So I'm going to do, I'm gonna do the flowers in Shimmer Flamingo. Again, here, this is a shimmer. Again, I'm going to stir this up. This is so pretty. It's like a coral color, but it's got a shimmer to it. And let's see, I'm gonna use my little half. This is just a half of a mini squeegee cut in half so I can get into some smaller spaces. So I'm going to do these flowers. Well, there it is. Okay. And the last one was Jennifer Higgins Ruggiero. I'm saying that absolutely wrong. Rugger, Rug, Ruggiero? Ruggiero? I don't know. Hopefully I didn't demolish You know, we are such good it. teachers that we always say their names right. <laughs> no, we don't. Okay, so I've got that done. Let me, let me do the ticket. Let me reset the timer. So who was it? Jennifer Ruggiero. Ruggiero, Ruggiero. I don't know. All right, you're going to have to tell us, Jennifer. Okay. How do we do it? Okay, now I'm going to do the green and I'm going to do this in pesto. This is not a shimmer, it's just a really pretty kind of a avocado y green. And I'm going to use my um, multi tool. It also has a skinnier little squeegee. And I'm just going to quickly get these leaves. This, this is helpful because it kind of works like a pencil. If you have trouble with um, fine motor skills, like, um, like yeah, like, because, you know, arthritis or something like that, you might try one of these because it, you get a different grip on it than when you're trying to just do like a pincher grip. Just a suggestion. Is this, you grip this a little bit differently, more like a pencil. Okay. Did I set, I didn't set that timer. Okay, we'll have one more person add it. Ah, that, that doesn't count. Okay. That counts. Okay. So let's peel this all up. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Stick that there. So here is my little centerpiece. Put a little spring in your step. So let's dry this off. Once it's dry, it's smudge and budge proof. What company are your stencils? This is Chop Couture. And again, if you are interested in the supplies, comment supplies and I'll get you the link. Um, if you want to just see like the catalog, comment catalog, I will get you the link. I also sell a little sample kit where you can make a little project with not a lot of investment in it. You can make a little um, gift tag, try it out. So if you're interested in that, type the word sample and I'll get you that link. Okay, so let's feed our ribbon. Again, if you just joined us. Well, Patty just joined us. Patty just joined us. She said hello and happy Thursday. Was that, was she the last one to comment that hasn't? Uh, let me check because I've got a few going. Let's see, we got one. Did we get Juanita? We did not get Juanita. We don't have Let's Juanita. Okay, one. so Juanita is our final entry tonight. So hopefully stick around. Juanita Murphy. Okay. So we'll stick around to the end and then we draw. And then we'll draw. Beth okay. wants a sample. 
Okay, just comment and I will get you the I'll get you the link. So again, if you weren't with us, this is what it's based on. This is called the Dress Me Up plate. It's by Southern Living at um, at Home, and it's a ceramic plate and it's got these openings so you can thread a ribbon through and change out your decor. We made one of our own. So and we we mod podged it with some tissue paper. You don't have to. You can just do it white. And what ribbon was I going to use? Okay, I was going to go fancy and I was going to use this. This is the decorative mesh from the Dollar Tree. So we're going to see how this looks in those, in those holes. Okay. Now, this is not going to want to feed, so I'm going to, I'm going to kind of, oh, I thought I had a rubber band. I'm gonna kind of make a needle out of this. Oh, I'm running out of time. You're running out of time, bud. running out of time. Get on it. Get, Get on, on it. it. Get on it. Get on it. Get on it. Okay. Faster, faster. In and out and in and out. I had a feeling I'd run out of time. So I will, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, bump into the next person who goes live on, on Craft Around the Clock. So what I don't finish, I will, I will be sure and finish it up and post it in the group so you can see it. And I think you need about like a yard and a half of the ribbon. Do it. I've got like one minute. You can do it. Can, do it. can I do it? You can do it. Okay, faster, so. faster. So how while you're doing that, how are you going to attach the center disc? I'm to just the well, I'm going to hot glue it, but if I was closer to my cabinet, I would get some velcro and I would velcro it on so that I could remove it and change it up. Velcro dot? Velcro dot or a Velcro stripe or something. Okay. Almost done. And we got to do our drawing. Yes, ma'am. Here, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to have Bill do the drawing. I'm going to do the drawing? Let's do two. Let's huh? do two. So I've got this down at the end here. Let's quickly tie it into a bow. Uh, are we ready to yell yet? Yeah, go ahead. He's Bill's oh. going to do the drawing. Okay, the first name I got is Juanita Murphy. Juanita Murphy! Yay, are you, are still, you still here? here? You should be. She's the last one in. And the next one pulling out is Rita. Rita. Rita Q. Lovely Rita Meter Maid. No, okay, not so made. so here is here is the bow, and then I am going to attach this guy right there in the center, and then I have my changeable, change of outable dress up plate, mock dress up plate. So what do you think? Cute. Yay. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, cute. so I'm gonna pose so I have a thumb, a decent thumbnail. And I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you watch tomorrow for our DIY Crafting with Plastics mini marathon. And I will be reaching out to who? Rita and Juanita. Juanita. Rita and Juanita, I'll be reaching out to you by messenger to get some more information before I send out your happy mail. And okay? They have, they have both uh, responded. They, okay, so. good, good, good. Okay, have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you later tomorrow.